Hey. Hey. What's up, you guys? Uh, just, you know, just a little bit weirded out by this whole vlog thing. But I thought I'd give it a try. So, hey, look, there's an electric line. High tension cables do not touch. Okay. I apologize for looking like a bit of a bum. Uh, I'm like out here for the last two, three days. Been working. It's got kind of dusty and it's hot, super hot. Um, but hey, it's pretty cool, you know. I'm uh, I'm alone. I got all these mountains. You see that, all that in the back. I got all this to myself. <laughs> all right, whatever. Anyway, um, so anyway, uh, I'm not really sure how a how a vlog needs to be. If there's a format, whatever, you know. But I thought I'd at least just kind of take you guys for a little walk, I'll show you around a little bit. Um, I have something like four acres or so um, down that way. Hey, am I pointing in the right direction? No, that way. That way. That way. That way. Right. In in between those, right? Like somewhere there. Hey, it's reversed. It's kind of weird. Anyway, somewhere back there, I've got three acres, and then down this way, where I'm pointing, you see that big tree over there? That one. Hey, buddy. Uh -oh. uh. Okay, let me try this again. This tree. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that back there, that tree. That's mine. My land got a half acre there. I'm gonna cut out pretty soon because I think I'm gonna get some visitors. Hey, there's a visitor right there. But anyway, just walking around. Said hello. Uh, anyway, what do you guys think? This is kind of cool, huh? Having all this mountain range to go up into. This is called the Western Ghats. Um, it's one of the biodiversity hotspots of the world. One of the top biodiversity hotspots, something. Something like, you know, I don't know if it's like on par with the Amazon or something. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy, to be honest. There's lots of wildlife that's there. There's things out here that we still don't know exist every year. There's just some scientist, I forgot his name. Um, can't think of it. Anyway, he's been uh, out in the Western Ghats for the last couple of years. I guess five years ago or something. He started his work and has been. They've been doing surveys every year during the monsoon, and uh, every year they're kind of publishing whatever, ten, fifteen new species of frogs, frogs like macro fauna that you know you would. You think we've already seen all of them? Apparently, we haven't. We have no idea what's going on uh, in these forests. It's kind of weird. There's actually no water here right now. You know, uh, just kind of looking around. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Wow, so nice. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of dry here, but anyway, it's been uh, it's been dry for the last month or so gonna get drier we have another month and then maybe more for the monsoon to arrive but you know somehow as soon as the water is here there's fish and frogs and prawns and crabs and I don't know like the water body is somehow just like replenished like magic I don't, I don't even know how that works but I think up up in those mountains all the way up there you see that jungle that's out there you know i mean there's like a like all that green patches and stuff you know hey i'm learning still um all of that probably still has water in there and somewhere there must be kind of uh i don't know like a breeding population of fish that's still around even now or maybe they've gone to sleep like those lungfish you know i don't know anyway I'm supposed to be an ecologist, I should know this stuff. But some things are a bit uh, difficult to kind of 
you know? No. Anyway, uh, in here, now we're in my little half acre space. Let me just show you guys around a little bit. Check out all that. It's kind of crazy. You know, there's like a pile of pallets like back there. Yeesh. It's like so much mud in my fingernails because we've been doing this. It's kind of why I'm like super muddy. Yes, I have hair on my nose. I am like an animal. This stuff too, it would grow like all the way up, all the way up my face if I gave it the chance. Uh, anyway, hey, so here you can see this rock that we've ex excavated. This is going to be kind of a natural pool. Um, right now, I'm just kind of digging it up, discovering what shape it is, what we can do with it, kind of looking at the potential of this space. I'm going to have to have a little uh, filtration. You know, when you have these natural pools, you got to have like a bit of a filtration system also, like a green filter. You can put plants and stuff, phytoremediation, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, so I guess that kind of section all there is going to be, is going to be that. You know, we're gonna fall away, have there in that, have a have a kind of a filtration space using plants. Um, hey, there's a little snack. Let me show you how this thing. That is a actually um, seeds of the Indian elm, Holoptelia something something, Integrifolia or whatever. Anyway. You can eat this. Check it out. This little seed, kind of cute. It's really nice when, you know, when the season is on and it's throwing these seeds. Uh, seeds kind of flutter along. Hey, it's empty. Or whatever. Anyway, what a waste. Let's check out this one. This one should give you something. Yeah, snacky, snacky, snacky. There's the little seed, do you see it? No? Maybe not, hold on. There. That's the seed. That thing. That's the seed, and it is edible. I look like a crazy person. Anyway, it's edible, so I'm gonna eat it. All right, that thing, straight in the mouth. All right, so anyway. Let's check it out. You guys want to, you know, I think it's like, oh, that's like seven minutes. So it's quite long. I don't know if I need to be like doing shorter episodes or something. I don't know, you know, like a, a, like two minute things or what. Anyway, you guys can kind of comment and like tell me all this stuff, right? So I can improve these videos because I have no idea, no idea how to do this. Um, anyway, um, back here is a laburnum tree, you know, one of my favorites, the Indian laburnum. But also, you know, I'm planting lots of other things um, right next to it. As you can see, I'll just take you straight to it. That's a pomegranate, this little one, right? And then we got some lemongrass in the back over there. All this is lemongrass. Um, this is what you call an amla. It's a Barbados cherry. These are Barbados cherry plants. Um, the tall one, that's a crotillaria. That one right there, that one right there, that's a crotillaria. Um, probably crotillaria pallida, but you know, it's still kind of tough to identify a lot of these. Here, I'll just show you one of the, what the crotillaria pallida looks like, probably. That is probably a crotillaria pallida, All right? Super nice plant, the crotillarias. Um, they are like nitrogen fixing native butterfly attractor kind of dudes. Pretty awesome. Uh, here's another crotillaria that is the crotillaria vericosa. The purple flower one. It's really cute. And the height of summer, which is right now, even though it's super hot, they're growing, right? It's like everything else is browned and dead, and these guys are still alive. Anyway, uh, here's a look at some other stuff. You know, we got some bananas, we got some blah, blah, blah. Lots of stuff growing. Just uh, kind of growing a bunch of stuff right now. This is the first 
first year we actually already grew some stuff last monsoon and now we're kind of just waiting for it to kind of pick up i've just created all these planting zones um today actually today yesterday the last two or three days excavation natural pool that's right okay i'm gonna sign out and hopefully i will see you guys uh pretty soon you know if you like it comment share like blah click something i don't know you know uh, but anyway see you guys uh, hopefully soon okay bye